Hi guys, this is Weekly Wax Melts 21. I'm not sure what the lighting is going to be like. Normally I try to get these uploaded during the daylight hours when I have the natural light coming in from the patio door to kind of, you know, help with the lighting. But I've been outside, or I was outside, most of the day today kind of winterizing things in the yard, shutting off the water and um, putting away lawn chairs and that kind of thing because winter is right around the corner for us here in the north woods I've already had a little bit of snow as i think i mentioned last week in my review um and we've had some nights where we've had a fairly hard frost so <coughs> um in doing all of that today i actually kind of forgot that it was monday so um if you hear me coughing clearing my throat i quit smoking last week actually it's been a week today um, since I've had my last cigarette and even if you don't have a smoker's cough apparently from what I've been reading um, before you quit you will develop one for a short time after you quit because you know your lungs are trying to rejuven rejuvenate themselves and get rid of all that gunk that I've been pouring into mine for 37 years. I started smoking when I was 14 years old. Um, so, I might have to take a co uh, cough here and there. I might cough here and there or have to take a drink here and there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do both right now. Excuse me. <coughs> and, I'm with the review. I melted caramel cream eggnog this week. Now, I have had this scent shot for probably oh, a year and a half. Probably at least that. Um, I only give this one three and three quarter stars. And I think it's just, it was beyond that period where I normally like to melt mine. I don't normally like to leave them sit around that long. Um, but sometimes, you know, they get buried in the bottom of my box or whatever. Um, or there's something new, you know, that I, I need to try right away. So these kind of get pushed to the back. Anyway, I remember liking this one more. The first time I melted it, this time around, not so much. It wasn't bad, but to me it was pretty much indistinguishable from sea salt caramels. It's, they smelled almost identical. And not that either one of either caramel cream eggnog or sea salt caramels are bad scent. Neither neither of them are a bad scent. Um, I actually prefer caramel cream eggnog over sea salt caramels from what I remember from the first time I melted it, if that makes any sense. Um, but as I said, I think this one just sat around for too long and I really am going to have to start paying closer attention and melting... Um, my scent shots and scooping you know using up my candles within probably that six month time frame eight months maybe um but no longer than that because they just lose something in the translation for my nose so i also melted berry blackberry cobbler now this is going to come as a real shock to most of you because i know most of you are big big fans of this scent i am not um three and three quarter stars and even smelling it now it's just i there are a lot of people who say that they get a really medicinal almost cough drop scent from a lot of victoria's um cherry scents that's what i get out of here i get to me this smells like some form of berry nyquil it's does not work for my nose at all um, it didn't change a whole lot when I put it in my tart warmer other than towards once it had been in there for for a while it started to smell almost like it started to smell less like cough syrup to me and more like when you get um, when you overfill like a blueberry pie or a blackberry pie and then that overspill kind of lands on the cookie sheet and starts to, those juices start to scorch a little bit. That's what this started to smell like to me after it had been in the warmer for a while. But I'm, it's just not, not a good scent for me. 
I melted lime crystal kisses. I give this one four stars. Now this one I have had around forever. As you can tell just by the color because when I got this, I mean right, right now it's almost white and it's supposed to be like the color of my wall. So this is another that's been around forever. Another that I preferred more when I first got it. When I first got it, to me, it smelled like um, those uh, jellied candy slices. I think they're called fruit slices, actually. You can get their lemon and orange and lime, and I think there might be a grape one in there. And they have the sugar crystals on the outside. That's what this smelled like to me when I first got it. Um, after this amount of sitting around, and like I said, I think I said this is at least a year old, it's starting to smell more like lemongrass to me, and lemongrass is not one of my favorite scents. Um, but I do still get a lot of that tart lemon out of here that I like, and there are fragrance oils just oozing out of this thing still. So, that one was okay. Um, liked it better when I first melted it. Turtle Cheesecake, I give four stars. Now, this one is a, a newer one. I've had this one since July. I get the chocolate. I get the creaminess from the cheesecake filling. I get nuttiness like you would get out of a turtle cheesecake. Um, but there are other chocolate scents that I prefer over this one. So, some of the other ones, Fudge Brownie, Breakfast in Vermont, um, those smell more like real chocolate to me chocolate pudding uh this is one of those chocolate scents that actually it's the only chocolate scent from victoria i've found so far that to me smells like baked chocolate so it's okay tiny bubbles four and a half stars this is another that i've had forever now this is one forever probably a uh, year year and a half now this one did um, age well. I don't smell anything really any different now than I did when I first got it. I smell a lot of pink sugar in here. Um, it actually, it smelled like pink sugar mixed with bazooka bubble gum. Um, then I got a really faint um, citrus note in the background. It might have been grapefruit. I'm not sure. That's kind of what it smelled like to me. And I got a little bit of melon out of this. All in all, a really nice scent. So I enjoyed that one. I melted black licorice. Now everybody's going to go, oh, you know. <laughs> Oddly enough, I much prefer this one over the blackberry cobbler. Obviously, it's not a scent that any everybody's going to like it's not a scent that i would burn you know on a regular basis or melt on a regular basis but i do give it four and three quarter stars if you like good and plenty's candy um this smells more like a good and plenty candy to me or snaps candy we we have snaps here i don't know how common they are in other areas they're basically the same thing as a good and plenty just shaped differently um so you're getting that black licorice with that little bit of that candy, sweet candy coated shell, sugary shell on the outside. That's what I get out of this. I really like to melt this at, like now, like Halloween. Um, it would probably be good for Easter because of the, like, it smells like black licorice jelly beans. Um I really like this one. I know it's not a scent for everybody. This is a really, really strong throwing scent. Um, so I only do a quarter of a scent shot at a time. And that's um, that will scent up a really big area. And I'm sorry I'm stumbling again. But I was thinking that there was somebody new on the page. And I'm sorry I don't remember your name. I know she's originally from Wisconsin. Um, anyway, she was on the, one of the wax page, Facebook pages the other day, and she had asked me why I always have half a scent shot left and how much do I melt at a time and how many warmers do I have? Uh, I have a warmer in my kitchen and a warmer in my living room and I use the little electric hot plates with the ramekin on top. 
Um, and my kitchen and living room, my house is not a big house. It's probably about 1,500 square feet in total. But my kitchen and living room are fairly open to one another. That I don't have a big dividing wall. Um, I have a central fireplace, and that is what the only thing that separates my living room and kitchen from one another. I'm sorry, I think I got wax up my nose. Um, so when I melt a scent shot, um, I always melt the same scent in the kitchen that I do in the living room because it is so open and I don't want, I don't know, I don't like all those different intermingling scents because then I can't tell what's what a lot of times. If I want them to intermingle, then I'll purposely mix them in the dish together. Um, anyway, uh, the I melt a quarter in the kitchen and a quarter in the living room. I've never really had to melt any more than that with any scent. Um, I suppose some of the lighter throwing ones I probably could. But, so basically, I'm using a half a scent shot to scent those two rooms. And that's all I really need. I also have a warmer in my master bedroom. I have a warmer in the guest bedroom, also electric warmers. Um, I melt quarter scent shots in there as well. Those I mix up pretty much on a daily basis. Um, and the guest bedroom is on a different end of the house from the master bedroom, so I melt, might melt two completely different scents in there. Um, and if I do, I'll close the doors, you know, because like I said, I don't want like four to six different scents like all merging into one in my house. I, If I'm melting apple cobbler, for instance, I want to smell apple cobbler. Um, I also have a warmer out in my mudroom, but my mudroom is not heated. When I say mudroom, it's basically just an enclosed porch. Um, so in the wintertime, I do bring that in because since it's not heated, the warmer can't like keep up um, with keeping the scent shot melted because the cold air comes in around the door frame. And, you know, our winters here, our average temperature is about 20 degrees. And there are days when it's a whole heck of a lot colder than that. It might be 20 below. Um, so, basically, for the most part, I've got four warmers going. Um, sometimes five. So, I hope that answers that question. And the last scent that I melted was gingerbread. Now, this one is also relatively new. This came out of Ashton's birthday order. She gave me half of her scent shot. And she got that. Now, it was the end of September, first part of October. I give this one four stars. It was nice. I don't think it smells like gingerbread. Or, you know, not like a gingerbread cookie or a gingerbread cake. It does smell somewhat cakey. Um, and there is spice in here. But to me, it, it just does not smell like gingerbread. What it smells like, actually, to me, is like, you know, when we were kids... Um, a lot of us had those like strawberry shortcake dolls where they, they were scented. This smells like if you would try to make a gingerbreaded, a gingerbreaded, a gingerbread scented doll. That's what I get out of it. So that's it for this week. As always, thank you for watching. Keep praying for me that I can keep these cravings under control because there are days, I mean, everybody says, oh, after three days, it's a breeze, you know. Um... No, I've, I'm still having some major cravings. So, keep your fingers crossed for me. I'm determined to do this. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on Monday.